All right, we're going to stick with the Halloween mood because we're on Halloween Eve today. If your debt is frighteningly high or your savings account is eerily low, it's all very scary. We can improve our finances this Halloween season. That's right. Financial instructor Michael Mazaran from the Retirement Education Foundation back with us to discuss some spooky habits <laughs> that uh, might be holding you back. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start with the first spooky habit, which is budgeting or the lack thereof. <laughs> the lack no of one no yeah. one likes to budget. No one likes to do it. And honestly, for a lot of people, a reverse budget probably makes more sense. All you got to do is automate everything. If you automate your 401k savings, your mortgage payment, your car payment, automate everything. Whatever you have left is yours to go spend. So just automate everything on the front end, and that way you can't overspend un unintentionally. So, okay, so you're automating the, the, the necessities, the payments, mm -hmm. the utilities and the car payment and everything and then how are you doing your savings your emergency fund versus your investment so that's got to be all automated also if we're going to do this it's all got to be automated the vacation savings the emergency savings the 401k it's all got to be automated so you have accounts set up that are being fed exactly. a chunk every month and it takes a little while to get it set up but once it's set up it's automated and mm -hmm. now it's harder to mess it up and we to spend less time thinking about it that's the key how do you make sure you get enough money in your account to uh, uh, make sure that you can pay all those things, but it starts with a budget. Though, but, right? So that, as long as we're, yeah. as long as you have an idea of, I, I, I have X amount of dollars in the checking account. Mm -hmm. I'm paying with the credit card. Let's not try to slip into credit card debt. That's never a good thing, mm -hmm. obviously. Let's talk about credit scores because I was just um, on my credit card website and I can check my credit score pretty easily. I think mm -hmm. everybody can these days, mm -hmm. right? Are we and supposed to be keeping an eye on that? Yeah. So most credit card companies offer free credit monitoring, and you can log on and check your credit score almost daily with the, with the credit card companies. Um, you know, the average score in Michigan, uh, average credit score is 710, which is really good. Yeah. And it's important to keep that score up because that's important to, you know, qualifying for a mortgage, getting good rates for car uh, car purchases. So we want to avoid things like late payments or racking up too much debt because having too much debt outstanding can hurt the credit score also. And if you do rack up too much debt, you're probably not thinking about tomorrow. You're worried about how I'm going to get through today. Exactly. Right. And and that leads to um, not being able to save for retirement because you're so worried about how you're going to get through the month. Yeah, and this is the challenge. So if people rack up too much credit card debt, they start to skimp in other places to make those payments like retirement savings. And when it comes to retirement savings, that is you know, ideally the last or second to last place we should be skimping. The, the, the most important place is emergency fund, having cash on hand. But then the 401k savings. If we can get our 401k savings ideally to 15%, if you can do more, you're a rock star. But 15% is great. And if you can't, just set up an automatic 1% per year increase. So if you're currently saving 8% per year to the 401k. Set up an automatic 1% per year increase. You're going to get a raise every single year, hopefully. And so you won't even notice your increased savings to your 401k. And, and after seven years, you'll get to 15%. And then after... 20, 30 years. <laughs> You'll be saving 20%, You're 30%, even better. Right, exactly. Right? Look at that. <laughs> Voila. Um, uh, what about the stock market? Because you, we, we see this so much, especially with, um, <laughs> I feel like the apps have not been... Uh, have, have not been good for people who want to do day trading and, and want to jump around on the, and buy, sell, and, yeah, and play the game. Yeah, it's sort of the, the, blessing and, the blessing and the curse of having technology at our fingertips is people can check this stuff even more frequently. Mm. And especially, I mean, during election season and stock markets, stock markets can get choppy. And for every single person, you know, just focus on the long run. If you look at a stock chart, the S&P 500, and just zoom out the past 30, 40 years, even 2008 looks like a blip when you zoom yeah. out that far. When is, you that zoom people, out, is that why a, a lot of people just say, just buy the index? Just buy the index, you know? buy and hold, do yeah. not stock pick, do not market time. No mm. one's got a strategy. And if you think you do, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but you don't. Right. No <laughs> one, there are billion, trillion dollar firms on Wall Street trying to do this and they can't do it. Just buy the index, call it a day. You're going to win in the long run. Yeah, and that's a good point you make. Uh, widen that picture. Mm -hmm. 
and then you get a real understanding of exactly. How you know, the stock 2022, we saw a 28 percent stock market decline in and 2022. People were panicking. People were panicking. Fast forward till today, we're back to all time highs again. Don't panic. No problem. Exactly. Don't Michael, panic. Thank you. Oh, you have an event this weekend. We do. So the Retirement Education Foundation teamed up with the Alzheimer's Association. We're joining them for their walk to end Alzheimer's walk at the, at the Detroit Zoo, November 2nd, this Saturday, 9 a.m. Uh, if you have nothing going on, by all means, come out and walk with us. It'll be a lot of fun. That's We're raising so money and awareness. What a great cause. So important. Um, give us the website one more time. REFEDU.org. REFEDU.org. We'll put a link on our website, FoxToDetroit.com. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Appreciate it.